welcome to another training session on Waltz. In this session we will focus on the logical and physical flow attestation. Attestation can be done at other uh, measurables, however for this video we will just focus on the logical and physical flows. So if, if you're looking to understand do you have any attestations outstanding, you can uh, look at your actions here. This is based on your, your favourite group that we can see just here. So you can see that everything looks clear. If there are attestations owned, I would need to, I would see a number just here. Alternatively, I can look within profile, look within attestations, and again, we will see the same thing if there's any attestations outstanding. However, let's just search one of my applications because maybe I've made some changes that I want to make sure people are uh, knowing about. So let's go and have a look at that now. So we'll look at Wolverine as an application. And what we'll do is maybe just give a quick cursory glance to our, to our data flows. We'll get a chance to review these one more time so we can see our upstream sources and our downstream targets and our, and our data types. Obviously straight away here we are, we've got a red flag that we're looking at. We're, we're processing an unknown or we're taking data which is unknown data type. So that will, will cause an instance. And again, let's just take a quick look at our physical flow detail. Okay. So when we think we're ready to, uh, to attest our logical or physical flows, click on attestations. And we can see here, let's go and attest our logical flows. So straight away, you can see the flows cannot be attested because there is an unknown or a deprecated data type usage. Please amend the flows. You will not be able to proceed until this has been actioned. So let's just quickly go and do that. Okay, that's per our usual functionality. We'll click on edit. Let's click on Bullshark. We know this is unknown. Let's update that to transaction data. And we can see Gopher is also taking unknown information. And let's remove the unknown because we know it's transaction data is there as well. We click on apply. And again, we can click on done. When you're happy and you have no more deprecated, do we still have an unknown data type? Let's go and take another look. Let's click on edit and bull shark. Go to transactions, make sure we click on apply. That's great. Data type is successfully updated. Click on done. And then we can click on our stations. Again, we go back to our test logical data flows. And we can see here we've got everything green. So looking good now. We don't have any red box telling us that we have unknown or deprecated data types. Again, click on correct. Confirm. And again, we're just asked to confirm that the information that's represented is correct. Uh, and valid. So again, as long as we're happy, because obviously this could be used around for various people around the organisation, we'll click on OK. And we can see that's just been done five seconds ago, a few seconds ago, and we're all happy. Again, the physical flow. What we can see here is we can take another view. Again, we can download the who we consume or, or the producers, or to, alternatively, we can look at the files that are produced by this application, Wolverine, or, or the files that are consumed. Again, if we're happy with what's, what's documented here, we click on confirm. Again, we'll be given the same message. So please only confirm and attest your flows when you know that they are correct. Um, please don't guess. Obviously, there could be implications. Click on OK. And we can see we're now done. And that's essentially how you attest your flows. And again, we can just see you know, the person who has tested them when, uh, when it was done uh, and what was done. So we can see the physical flows were tested here and the logicals here. And that largely is how to touch your logical and physical data flows within Waltz.